All right, so onto the valve adjustment. So it's in uh, fourth gear. Uh, the other thing you could do is, uh, I think it's a 23 or 22 on the crank in the front. Um, you can turn it by hand that way. Uh, if you remove the spark plugs, that also helps. But I'm not going to do that. So um, what we're going to do with the engine right now is a top dead center. And as you can see, the valves here, the cams are set right in between. As you can see, it's, uh, there's a top of the lobe there and top of the lobe there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the magic number of nine for setting these. And it's uh, pretty simple. So, okay, let's go ahead and push the car forward. And we can see what we're looking for is the cam lobe being up in the top position. I'm just pushing the car forward and doing that. Um, so as you can see, the rocker is at the very top right here of its position. So that's number two. So if we're counting from the top, from the motor, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the magic number of nine does this. So let's say number two is open. All right, so you go nine minus two. That would be seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Adjust valve number seven. Does that make sense? I think it does. So let's go ahead and check that. And we're using a point zero 08 filler gauge. So we can get that in, in frame there. And basically what we're doing is we're checking to see if what the tolerance is or the tightness. And it looks like this one's a little bit tight. And I haven't done the valve adjustment on this. So uh, this is a newer motor that came from a friend's car. Uh, it came from a 320, a 1984 320. And uh, he stripped the motor out, slammed a six cylinder into it and had this motor. It had about 20,000 miles on it. So uh, not the best, it's a little bit dirty, but we can deal with that. So, okay, now what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna show you how to do this, and this is gonna be kind of tricky with one hand. Well, what I've done is I've taken a, a 332nd Allen head, and there's a hole down at the bottom there. And you can see you can rock it back and forth. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen this up, take your feeler gauge, Stick it between the cam because it, all this is in a centri uh, centric lobe. And when you loosen up this nut, it allows this to travel back and forth, uh, effectively giving it different heights depending on what you want to do. And once you get the, the feeler gauge in there and you stick it in between there and it's, it's a snug fit but not completely tight, then you crank this nut back down and then move on to the next one. So as I said, this one seems like it's a little bit loose or tight, so I'm gonna go ahead and readjust that and then I'll be back.